recognize his face, but it's his voice that's become legendary. Ladies and gentlemen. Boxing announcer Michael Buffer is known the world over for his elegant tuxedos, perfectly coiffed hair, and of course, those five famous words. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! What's not widely known about Buffer is that he grew up in foster care with no memory of his biological father until one day in 1989 when he was announcing a fight in California. One of the waitresses came up and handed me a note and said, call Joe Buffer. And I was like, oh, that's my, that's my biological father. So what'd you do? So we chatted and decided to um, meet for dinner. Nice guy. He had a great voice too. Michael was also meeting someone else for the first time, his long lost half brother, Bruce. In walks Michael and it's just, I can't, I can't even put into words the feeling that I had that evening. And uh, that was the beginning of where we're at today. Where they're at today is not only enjoying an unexpected brotherhood, but a perfect partnership. While one brother had come up with five simple words, the other had a sixth sense for what to do with them. Uh, this is the Ready to Rumble electronic boxing ring, WCW Thumb Wrestler, Monday Nitro Arena, and then this was the Rumble Robots. When you had your epiphany, mm -hmm. was this what you envisioned? Yes. And their success goes beyond just the licensing of the catchphrase. It's also going after anyone who uses it without consent, something the brothers aren't afraid to do, according to boxing promoter Bob Arum. Let's get ready to rumble. God forbid anybody else says it. Michael Sue. <laughs> I know, I'm anxious that you're even saying it out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. It wasn't long after their reunion that Bruce decided to do what his big brother did. But rather than in the ring, he brought his microphone into the mixed martial arts octagon for the UFC. According to one of the league's owners, Lorenzo Fertitta, it's been a perfect fit. It's time! He's completely over the top in what he does. We didn't want to be, you know, conservative in the old kind of boxing way. That's part of what helped us succeed because it allowed us to really connect with that younger generation. His style is completely different than yours. Yes, his. his style really fits the, uh, the niche, the fans, the action and energy of uh, MMA and UFC. There was a writer that did a story and he said, Michael's like a fine uh, bottle of Bordeaux and Bruce is like a shot of Jack Daniels. And I love that. 